So the things that someone can expect if they're coming to the training, um, there are different elements which we incorporate every year. One is that we are all on campus together for a week, sharing meals, sharing conversations, and I think they can expect a warm experience of community. In fact, the, the feedback that we just received from our last training spoke about that welcome and warmth uh, repeatedly. So that, that's one of the beautiful qualities that you can't really schedule or plan that seems to emerge. Um, as a whole group, we also do movement. Uh, we do Eurythmy, which is an anthroposophic movement. Uh, it can be artistic, it can be therapeutic. We do that together in the mornings. Uh, a lovely way to meet the day and find some of your vitality. Uh, we spend about an hour each day out in the garden looking at different medicinal plants. And this is one of the most fascinating parts of the meeting is that we look usually at the same plant for six days. Uh, and this is something that's special about anthroposophic medicine is it would be easy to learn the details of the plant on the first day, but we're really working with different contexts and different ways of observing, some of them very factual, very clinical, very particular and detailed, some of them much more intuitive, some of them artistic, um, and we're really looking to understand processes of growth, of development, and then we take those experiences, which are very immediate because people are right there working with the plant, and explore how those can be used in patient work, uh, in clinical observation. So we are learning about a medicinal plant, but we're actually practicing a much bigger process. Other parts of the clinical training, we read some uh, classic integrative medicine texts which really challenge you to think in process. And then the afternoons are dedicated to very specific clinical workshops where we're looking at neurology, we're looking at child development, we're looking at oncology, we're looking at chronic digestive illnesses, we're looking at allergy, uh, and trying to present very practical insights and therapeutic tools so that someone can go home and really start to bring these into their practice. And then finally, in the evenings, uh, we have presentations which are dedicated more to meditation, to morality in medicine, to the spirituality and the experience of going through a healing process, and what, can, what a person can gain through that.